After acquiring a property in Upland, it immediately begins earning Upix. It also earns Upix whenever somebody sends to your property, and that Upix can be attained every three hours, and you can claim it right in the top right corner. Uh, actually, whoop, there we go. Let me, let me, I'm not used to the camera. I still got a point in the right way. Uh, so up in the top right corner there, you'll be able to see that. And those are the earnings that I'm talking about when I'm talking about using house money. I know, haha, ha, funny pun, but that's the house money that I'm talking about. You earn money from your properties and then you use that money to reinvest into more properties. So I'm going to show you how I do that in real time and we might as well just go along for the ride, right? Hey there, John Henry here, SSFTG. Welcome to the video. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome my friend. I hope to earn your like and subscription today. Reinvesting our profits to earn more profit, aka compounding our gains, is easily one of the best things to do, not only to grow our, our real life net worth, but also our upland net worth. It works just the same way, go figure. Um, the concept of using house money certainly is, you know, obviously a funny pun, and it's been around for ages, but we've all heard it, right? We've all probably even said it, uh, but, you know, let's actually see this in action. First off, we have to understand where the earnings are coming from, and I have done a lot of different videos going over the earnings and all of that, but our properties earn a base APY of, at the time of recording this at least, 14.7%. Now, that's just a base property, not in a collection, anything else, and that's why I say base here, because when you put properties in collections, you can have boosts easily over 20%. I like using my earnings to mint new properties because that's basically the cheapest that you can get is minting new properties unless somebody is accidentally sells something under mint in, in Upix, which usually doesn't happen very often. Um, and that's really what I'm looking to do here. Now, for me, I am above a pro status, so I can't mint FSA properties. I've got to hunt for non-FSA properties. At the moment, I'm in Detroit, so we'll focus our efforts there. So in order to find this, I use Upix Land or Upland Optimizer for basically everything. I've done a million videos on them. But uh, what we want to do here is we want to search for status unlocked, meaning that we are able to actually mint them. And then because I can only use non-FSA, that's what I'm going to search for. Obviously, if you are able to mint FSA, that's going to be a way better option because it's going to be really cheap. Uh, and then we want to sort by mint price and then we'll do a search here and we'll see where the cheapest one is So it looks like the cheapest one's gonna be in well, there's one in O'Hare McNicholson, let's see Southfield Plymouth none of them really have a ton of them But it's around 5,800 upix or so so if we go back and we look at the earnings in the top right corner here I can see that I do have more than 5,800 upix. So that's perfect All we have to do now is go in find the address and go into the location So let's see here. This one is in Southfield Plymouth Oh, these are 57. These are a little bit cheaper. Let me let me see if I can find one over there. Uh, sometimes the address for non-minted properties doesn't exactly work the best in the world. Uh, let's see what we can manage to work out here. Non-FSA. Hey, holy cow, it worked. Okay, so there's a property right next door, which is beautiful. So we'll send here. We've got 11 sends available. That is perfect. We'll jump on over here. And once our character lands, we'll be able to mint it. And there's our property and then we can mint it 5768. Now, in this case, I haven't actually collected my earnings yet to mint this, so let's do that real quick. I'm gonna go in. Now, I don't know if you actually knew this or not. It's something, and I say it that way because it's something that I just found out. Uh, you can actually collect earnings on individual properties or sends, uh, et cetera, which makes it really useful to kind of compound and let it grow until you have enough. So as an example, if I wanted to only take out about 6,000, then I'll just keep clicking one of these individually all the way through until I have about 2,000 left over here since I've got about 8,300. Now, the other alternative is just to click collect all earnings and that will just do them all, which is the other way to do it. But if you're trying to keep things separate, um, the one thing that you'll notice is that there is that timer and now I've got to wait for three hours. If I collect them individually, I can collect them basically whenever I want. I just, I just looked at my webcam and I realized that I am uh, I am mostly green, but we're just going to have to deal with it for a minute. Uh, what we're going to have to do is, wow, that's a that's a fun one. Okay, I've got to work on my, that, this green color, this green color is killing my, uh, my, my background here. Wow. Um, okay, anyway, so we can go in, we'll mint this. I'm not a robot, that is correct. We'll mint that bad boy. And just like that, now we've gone in and we've minted that property with our earnings. 
All right, let me let me zoom out a minute here so my shirt's not going so crazy. Note to self, white shirt might not necessarily be the best idea. That was crazy. Um, but anyway, and just like that, uh, we've collected our earnings from our, our other properties. And not only have we collected our earnings from those other properties, but we reinvested them back into the game to get more earnings. Those new properties will now be making their own earnings and continue growing. Now, from here, I could go in and I could sell that property for Upix. I could hold it and just hang on to it for as long as I want. Maybe it'll be a little bit of a cash cow for a little while until I need it. Whatever the case may be, but now we've utilized our earnings and recompounded them back in. I hope this guide helps you and kind of shows you how easy it is to keep those profits rolling and using house money. I know, that funny uh, pun. Um, if you have any questions, though, thoughts, comments, Epic Street views, or anything else, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you all. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, we'll see you all in the metaverse.